Hello guys, welcome back to RP Excellent. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create a data entry form. If you're planning to create a quality form, a registration form, a sign up form for schools, events, or maybe just a simple sales form and automatically transfer the data into a simple table, then this video is for you. So make sure you watch the entire video. I've already made a sample event registration form. So we have here the name or the first name, last name, email, and the mobile number. Later on, we're going to apply this um, automation to our smart coaching form like this one. And after that, I'm going to show you a brand new simple form uh, which has at least maybe two or three information that will automatically transfer the details into the raw data or a consolidated information as a table. Let me show you how to use the automation in the event registration form first. First thing you need to do is to get all the details like the first name and last name, for example, and um, put it in the raw data along with the email and uh, mobile number. So I've already prepared those headers in our raw data um, worksheet. The next um, step would be to copy the same header name and put it in our transfer settings worksheet and put the items here on column A. So the automation doesn't have to do anything with this, but it will just serve as your guide as to what to declare in the worksheet name, the cell number, where would you like to save it, and in what specific column. So worksheet name or the from worksheet, which is the column B, should be the worksheet name event registration form. So I'm just going to copy this and declare it here. Then it will ask from what cell number. So this data or the first name in event registration form worksheet is from what cell number. Let's go ahead and check. First name is in E9. But if you've noticed, um, this is already a merged cell. It's E, F, and G. But if you activate this or select this cell, it would tell you that the cell name is E9. So I'm just taking E9 for this. So I'll say E9. And the last name is I9. Then we need the email, which is on E12, and then mobile number on E14. E12 and E14. Now, where would you like to save it? In what worksheet name? I'm going to put it in this worksheet, raw data, and you're going to put it in what column? So it's just A, B, C, D column. Same order for this A, B, C, D. All right, so once you've set this up, you're going to go back to your form and you can put any pictures or maybe a shape wherein you'd be able to assign your macro. So I've already prepared a shape for you, this one, and I'm going to show you how to assign the macro. You're just going to right click from the shape or the image and then select assign macro. And we only have one macro name here, which is the save. Select the save macro. Click OK. Click any cells within your worksheet to unselect this register button. So now that it's unselected, you can go ahead and click this um, and it will transfer the data to the raw data sheet. So let's put a sample data. So I'll be putting my name here. Email is, let's say, email at gmail.com. Mobile number is one two three four five six seven eight nine. Click register, and it says successful. Click OK. Check on the raw data worksheet, and all of the information 
is there automatically so you can click this again and it will give you another row so let's say it's a different name and then you register you'll see that the information gets added into our raw data worksheet this time I'm gonna show you how flexible the macro is when it comes to using a different data entry this is another sample we're in we're gonna use a smart coaching tool and it's very simple I only have drop down here to select an employee ID and then the name here is just based on the employee ID it's just using a VLOOKUP if you want to learn how to use a VLOOKUP I'll be sharing a link on top you can check that out now or maybe later my VLOOKUP tutorial there is explained step by step in this smart coaching form we also have a date which is based on today's date as you can see here's the formula this is where you'll be putting the smart details so we have the S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, and T for timely. I'm not going to discuss further what smart or how smart coaching is being used. I'm just going to show you how to automatically transfer the data from this form into a regular table. First step again, we'll be creating the headers for the smart coaching details so I would get employee ID and the name first into raw data then I'll get the date and then the rest of the um, smart coaching details all right and in the same order, I'm going to copy this, control C, go to transfer settings worksheet and paste it here as values and I'm going to transpose it. There you go. So this is column A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. All right. So what's left? We need to declare the worksheet name on where it will come from and that is smart coaching worksheet name i'll be putting that here and then you have to declare the cell number source employee id for example will be from b5 and then the name is b6 B5 and B6. Date will be from E5. And then here, so B9, 11, 13, 15, and 17. So that's B9, B11. I'm just going to highlight this and drag all right so I got everything covered up now I'm gonna declare to what sheet name I would like to save the details and that is to our raw data worksheet name I'll copy this and paste it here apply it to all of the rows now that it's set up you can go back to the smart coaching form and test it so in this case I'm just gonna click on submit I've already assigned the macro here there you go and this is the newly entered details from the smart coaching form so let's try to make some changes in the coaching form so let's say I'll be selecting a different ID and sample text will be let's say it's just test one and then test two and the rest will be the same and once I click on submit successful click OK check on your table the new information is entered 
with a specific as test one and measurable as test two. What if we want to create a brand new form? I'll be deleting everything here. And delete this portion. I'll add a new worksheet. So this is, let's say, a test um, form. Let's say it requires a name and let's say it's just a survey for your favorite color. So my name is then Ryan and favorite color, for example, is green. So design it to however you wanted to. But just for the sake of showing um, how the macro works, I'm going to go ahead and create a simple table in raw data sheet just for the name and the favorite color. And then I'll use the same item name in our transfer settings worksheet. So I'll be putting that here. And then from worksheet will be the test form. From cell number would be C3 and C4. And I want to save it in raw data. And in what column? So that's A and B. So let's go back to the test form. I'll be adding a simple shape or an image. I'm going to say um, save button. Make it big and right click assign macro. And we only have one macro name here, which is save. Select save click ok select anywhere from your worksheet to deactivate the shape or to unselect the shape and then click on the save button it says successful and let's go ahead and check the raw data and it has the new details entered i've created this macro code because most of the projects that i get is about creating a data entry form I'm going to show you the macro code that I've created. So this is the macro code. You can copy this if you like. I'll be sharing a link for you to download this file so you could play with it, experiment, um, learn from the macro codes. You can improve it if you want, but this is going to be a good start for you if you want to create a brand new data entry form. If you think this is helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for you to be updated for my upcoming video tutorials.